Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. I realize it's been forever since I've updated. I'm on spring break this week. That means for you guys that you'll be getting at least one video of each song. I mean, of each game. What it doesn't mean is you're probably going to get to watch me fail so hard at this and get myself killed, it's not even going to be funny. Ow. I have to watch my big bottle rockets because I'm going to need one for the boss. Hopefully we can get through this with minimal problems. I get a cup of coffee. Ouch. Okay, that's not good. I'm going to... Oh, cool, I killed it without... A big bottle rocket. Save state just in case. Hopefully I can get up here without getting killed. Cool. Empty floor. Woohoo! We made it this far. Hopefully I can get this far without failing. If you all remember in the last episode, we were going through the department store and Polly got kidnapped. So that's our next step. Cut. Bobby. Customer Bobby. Please hurry to Misty. Yarg! Yeah, this boss is pretty creepy just to let you know. I'm going to go down this way. Okay, I managed to get through without getting killed. Cool. Bobby, customer Bobby. Yard! Yard! I don't know how to speak that language. Okay. I'm going to be safe stating just in case we get locked. Guar, guar, you finally made it. This department store is going to be your grave. You'll be gone, you'll be burning in while you'll go to heaven. In the Japanese version, you'll be saying, he says you'll be going to hell. Okay, this guy is extremely powerful, so I'd recommend a big bottle rock and a PSI rock and beta. Should drop in one round. And that's exactly why. Ow. Goodbye. What the? What the fuck? He survived! Big bottle rocket. So you take two of those, you punk ass. Sorry, I get a little too into this game. Wow, big experience. Who damn. Big level up for them. Even though you could beat me, Master Gigas will avenge me. At this moment, Misty should be on a totally yard. All right, cool. So we've beaten the department store spook. Now the fun really begins. We get to go to the monkey caves. Oh, this is funny. The power supply of the game was cut off. I wasted my money. Damn straight, you did. Nothing worse than an arcade. Freaking the power goes out. You know, on the last level. Actually, reminds me of a funny story. I was at Anime Expo back in 2007, and um, I was playing Guilty Gear. I, it was my first time playing Guilty Gear, and I was pretty into it. I sat there for a good half hour waiting for the con to open, just playing Guilty Gear. On one quarter, and some dude comes in, pops his money in, and ruins my game. I'm like, are you fucking serious? He's like, I want to take you on. I'm like, I was at the final boss! Before the con even began, I'd already been getting into trouble. That's just one thing you don't do. You'll ask permission to cut into someone's game before you ruin their game. And we're not talking 21 quarter games here. This game was a dollar a play. So you can imagine, I was pretty pissed. I was not happy. There we go. I was pretty upset with that guy. And then my best friend came over, what happened? I'm like, this idiot freaking just ruined my game. And he got all mad at her, too. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to Animexo again in July. I'll be close playing Squall from Final Fantasy VIII. Anyway, enough with that story. Oh, and to speak of power getting cut out, right as I'm sitting down to LP, this guy knocks on the door and says, I cut the power. So I'm like, what the fuck? So, I had to wait. I got cut on my LP. I had to start over from where I was. If I remember correctly, we gotta go to Jackie's Cafe for the next part of the game. If I can remember where the hell it is. Hey, a butterfly, come here. Wait, from the heel. I should have used beta. Life up beta. Boy, made my life so much easier. I think we're going into Moonside in this video. I think you gotta go to Moonside before you go to the Monkey Caves. We'll find out very shortly. Yes, just what I thought. 
We're going to meet a familiar face from Tucson. Remember him? Everdread. Don't cut in front of me. If you give me something, I'll let you have my spot. Will you give me something? Sure. I'll give you... A big bottle of rocket. Whatever. I don't need that many. Wheeze, wheeze. Aren't you, Bobby? I can't see you too well. Everything's blurry. You are Bobby, aren't you? It's me. We went in Tucson. Everdread from Berlin Park. You must remember, I'm the best thief around. That car painter and happy, happy villain was hiding something. Wheeze, wheeze. Strange. I stole it and thought about selling it in the big city. An old city wise man, I called it Manny Manny. It's a strange color doll looking thing. Oh, I'm in pain. And Monitor totally tricked me and stole it from me. He tricked a thief. He wanted me out of the way because I know his secret. He gets his evil power from that statue. Listen, I'll tell you only once. At the cafe, check behind the counter. Gasp. I said I'd tell you only once, but if you just, I'll tell you once more. Do you want to hear it again? No. Before I go, here's my last haiku poem. When on your way out, be sure that you say goodbye and then lock the door tight. This is my final request. Don't follow me. I must be on my way. Whoa, so long. It's actually kind of funny if you talk to these people afterwards. This is a one-time only thing, so I think I'll do it. Talk to you first. Is that man going to, to? Don't you feel better since you had a chance to talk with your friend? I helped you find him. <laughs> Do you know him? He must be a dangerous kid. I'll bet you're on, way, on your way to Jackie's Cafe right now. He should really go to the hospital like other sick people do. He's not dead. I thought he may have passed on. He stared right at me. Ooh, it was scary. <laughs> Stupid lady. By the way, if you have a vib if you hear a vibrating noise in the background, it's my phone. I'm waiting on a friend to come by so I can set up her R4 card. And as you see here, we're in a strange place. I'm going to try and avoid as many fights as I can. Ah, oh, shit, I'm stuck. I can't avoid this one. The Enraged Fire Plug. This is exactly why I'm glad I stocked up on these. Goodbye. Hwit! Snake! Sorry, I can resist a Metal Gear Solid joke. I hate the lag. It's not my computer, it's the ROM itself. Another one. Call that Robo Pump. Yep. I'll just take this one down with physical attacks. No use wasting a uh, fire rocket on it. He can throw bombs though, so be careful. Oh great! He's homesick. Bitchin'. The thing I gotta do is go to the hotel. I gotta cure that or I'm screwed. Much better. And then we're running in about eight minutes. I think we can get through the monkey caves if I push it. I'm not sure what time she's coming over, so. First thing you gotta do is we'll talk to this guy. The many, many sections up ahead, but I'm gonna stop you right here. Don't even think about getting past me. Because you aren't a guy where his eyebrows are connected and you don't have a gold tooth. Seriously, this dude is. Oh shit. I almost got back attack. Ah, what the hell? Blow it up. I've got some of the big wild rocks on here. We can deal with them all. Goodbye. Now, the next thing you gotta do is figure out the transporter puzzle, which isn't hard. You go talk to that guy, then you just follow the path this guy sends you on. Hello and goodbye. You get some decent stuff in these presents. I think you get a night bandit. Yeah. That'll save you a lot later in the game. Night bandit. Hello and goodbye. <laughs> Dolly's clock. Yo, get out of my way. Oh, great. He gets me from behind. Wonderful. Sing TikTok. You know, this is actually a copyright issue in this game. That's why they can't put it on the virtual console. There's too many um, copyright issues involved with the Dolly's Clock. Well, one of many things. That's one reason. Come here. Ouch. Goodbye. 
I'm not even sure what the hell the dolly's clock is. I just know that is one of the reasons. Handbag strap, worthless item. Hello and goodbye. Before the soup gets cold, we must care for Manny Manny. Before the knife gets rusty, we care for Manny Manny. Yeah, I know. Check. Protein. Ah, oh, screw Good, that'll come handy. Give him. Just in case, because he can get paralyzed here. Hello and goodbye. Shall I? No. In Moonside, no is yes, and yes is no. Can you see me? No. Haha, <laughs> you can, huh? Hey, you come a real Moonside, and haven't you? What the? You're looking for some kind of door? Well, you're not going to find one, so get out of my face, loser. I have no patience with people interrupt me while I'm doing, busy doing nothing. Hehe. <laughs> Hehe, <laughs> it's me. You can't see me. You can see me, right? There's something interesting about you, so I'm going to follow you. Don't worry, though. Hehe. <laughs> if you get into a fight, I'll stay out of it. <laughs> you can't see me, right? Yuck, yuck, hey. Don't you wish you had a gold tooth like mine? Give me a smile. Hehe. <laughs> And this is precisely how we get past the dude dying down there, smiling, smiling, hey, hey. Uh, hey, hey, yo, did you think my eyebrows rock? Check them out, they're connected. As if the gold tooth wasn't your first clue. The main man in that statue is up ahead, and I'm not going to stop you right here. Huzzah, you really surprised me. You're the man whose eyebrows are connected, who has a gold tooth. How about we dump these kids and go get something to drink? And here we go. Do not do anything to me. I am I'm not Bonner Soli. And here we go. It's a golden statue that you have seen before. Boss fight. Bash. Big body rocket. Oh great. Right off the bat. Son of a bitch. Big bottle rocket. Goodbye, Manny Manny. That is exactly why I gave the Seeker of a Jeff. I was expecting that. Level 30. No! Ah! Another 4 offense? Damn, he's leveling up huge! Damn! Major level up. Alright, yeah, we have enough time to the monkey caves. The Manny Manny statue was actually a device that created illusion. The delusion device was destroyed. Good Seeker Herb. Huzzah! I don't have to pay $90,000 to get petrification or process confused. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I come up with another wacky invention that I think has real potential. Maybe you won't, but anyway. It's called the Gourmet Yogurt Machine. It makes many different flavors of yogurt. The only problem is, right now, it can only make trout flavor yogurt. That just sounds disgusting. So I'm having the machine delivered to you via Escargot Express. It's coming in eclectic class. Hopefully you'll get it soon. Yeah, everything is kaboom! I've got some problems here, gotta go, bye! <laughs> That's one of the best lines in the game right there. <laughs> okay, a monkey. I'm not a delivery man. I can't remember if we've met. Talarama just finished fasting and now wants to meet you. At the west end of the Dusty Dunes Desert. And he came with lots of monkeys. I'll use my teleportation too. Goodbye. Yeah, the monkey's pretty cool. Ow. He hit something again. <laughs> Crash, oops. Crunch, oops. Greetings, the Escargo, ex ex Escargo Express is neglected class. Oop. I just got from the Destitute Desert. There's a sunbathing guy and he told me about a cave with lots of monkeys. Or some orangutans. Anyway, he said, well, uh, I forgot. Yep, I forgot. Actually, I forgot the stuff I was supposed to deliver, too. I think it was some weird machine to make trout flavor yogurt. Yeah, I forgot at the desert. I'm not going back that way, so don't ask me to get the package. I mean, it's your package, right? So you go do it. Go on, get out of here. Maybe I think I forgot it was important to you. So have a good time in the desert. That dude's an asshole. Hello, I heard you talking about trout flavored yogurt. I'm a maid who serves Mr. Monotoli. I'm looking for trout flavored yogurt to give our special guest. If you know anything about it, please tell me. I've been searching and searching. Now that that's taken care of. Okay. Long story short, we're going to head to the desert. I'm just going to power through the, uh, the trip. Oh, hello. Just so we get there faster. There we go. First thing we got to do is buy a couple of things. We got to check my inventory. Yeah. Why? You need a picnic lunch. And a skip sandwich to get through the first two rooms. Hopefully I don't screw up. Before I do that. 
Good. Talk to you. Sell. Great job. Okay, now I'll call Oscargo Express. Pick up. Need to deposit a couple of things. Yes. Take the handbag strap. The town map. And the laser gun. Perfect. Save state. Let's go to the monkey case, folks. Oh, please. I'll destroy you without even going into the battle. You're too pathetic. You are pathetic. Ooh, butterfly, come here, come here, come here. Don't you think about running away. Oh, better check my stats. Yeah, everyone's good. It's just a habit of mine to go after a butterfly whenever I see one. That's what 100,000 plays of Earthbound does to you. Alright, and we're in the monkey caves. Basically, it's a maze. It's a trading sequence. You give a monkey an out and he opens the door. I won't eat a picnic lunch. Kiki, Kiki, if you got my wish, I might open the entrance. Will you give me a picnic lunch? Sure. So I bought one. Great. Let's talk to this guy. Do you have a skip sandwich? I'll move away if you give me one. Can you give me one? Yes. Skip sandwich. Pretty sure this is a pizza. Yeah. Now that does sound pretty good right now. I'm hungry. <laughs> Talk to her. Yeah, if you give her the pizza, you'll be fine. Pizza. Alright, I'm gonna go back this way because there's a couple other items. And each, after you give a monkey an item, it opens a room to a, a passageway with another treasure. Or food, whatever the hell you wanna call it. I think it's treasure. This one should probably be a wet towel. Funny how I can remember this shit. Protein drink, I don't have one. I don't have a pizza, sorry buddy. He's fucking human. Sorry dude, I ain't got a pizza. I'll come back when I get one. This is just one long part of oops, what the hell am I doing? Does it feel hot in here? My fur's all sweaty. Maybe you don't usually have a wet towel, but if you have one, we get one. Sure. Much obliged. Here's another pizza. It's pretty sad that I can remember all this crap. Past this point, though, I can't. Oh, crap. Yeah, here's the fresh room. Fresh egg. You need one to get through this area, and if I can get there fast enough before it turns into a chick. I'll be good, otherwise I gotta come back here. I just gonna remember it's behind Mokana. Er. Oh, thank god I killed him more easily. Check. Hamburger, very nice. Yeah, there's a couple monkeys in here that if you give them hamburgers, they open up the door to rare items. One of them is a flame pendant, one a ruler. One's the flame pendant, one's a bag of dragon, I they'll all help you. Yeah, it's from the hamburger monkey. It'll come back here. Okay, this way. Try the protein drink. Oops. A rust promoter. Really? Yes, I'll give you a pizza. There you go. Pizza for you. Great. Pizza time. Indeed it is. Alright, let me in the door. Man came in. Sure. You want to be that brief? Let's give you a hamburger. How's this? Oh, we're playing in it. Oh, the bag of Dragonite. Wait a minute. What the hell am I doing? It's the protein drink. Yeah, my egg hatch. Damn it. I'd like to have a protein drink. Can you give me one? Sure. Protein drink. Here you go. Go, go. Blacky. Go, go. Blacky. What the fuck that means. There we go. Hamburger. Rockin'. That's the monkey you need the, uh, egg for. Yeah, here's a ruler for you to check. Oop. Hung at him. 
My bad. Ruler. Get out of my way! One of my friends can use the teleport. What? You never heard of it? Then I'll give you King Banner. That didn't make sense, did it? But I'm, anyway, I'm gonna track your thing. If you're a monkey, sure, why not? Well, evolve from monkey, supposedly. Okay, go this way. Avoid the mushroom, I don't want to fight it. This way. Here's the fresh egg room. Did you find a flame pennant? Oh no, you don't have to answer. Here's another fresh egg. Let's see, go this way. This way. Avoid the chest. Urgh, I went the wrong way again. This way, this way. I think it's this way. Here we go. Meow, meow. Let's change chattering for a monkey. Cuckoo, pet, pet, pet. If I eat a fresh egg, I'll recover some health. Ribbit? What the fuck? He's acting like a frog now? And I was too slow again. Shit. I went the wrong way, that's why. This way. Oh, shit. I'm just gonna run. I worthless to fight. And I ended up going all the way out. Okay, hold on. This way. This way. The good news is I can sell those chickens for money. You know, I go this way. I go here. There. Should have made it this time, yes. Gulp, gulp, ookie, gulp, gulp. See? Sure. This is a useful item, this is a neutralizer. Alright. Now I gotta go find Man K Man again. It's right here. I am Man K Man, ookie, ookie. To me, the most interesting thing is the King Banana. Ookie, ookie, what? Are you giving me a present? Sure. Here's your King Banana. Oh, I've died and gone to Monkey Heaven. Get out of my way. Picking lunch inside. Hamburger. Do I have two? One, two. Yeah, okay. Uki, Uki. I love Talarama the most. He's a friend of the monkeys. Here's a song I made up for Talarama. Sure. Good. Pencil eraser. This is the last time in the game you need the pencil eraser. And here we go. Check. Whoa, it was a brain food lunch inside. That is a useful item. Cup of life noodles inside. Excellent. Oh. Talarama. The truth of space and time moves through the universe like a wave. Truth speaks like space and matter and makes itself known to human beings. I was waiting for you and you came. This was destined to happen. In truth, all is predetermined. Bobby, Misty, Jeff, and Omar. When these four powers gather, Twisted Space shall be, shall, will bring pace back to the world. Do you understand? It doesn't matter. Proceed as you wish. Open the treasure box and take what is inside with you. Did you come in search of this? Someone left you behind in this hole. Jeff got the yogurt dispenser. The adventure that lies ahead won't be easy. I'll give you a special skill to help you move through space as you wish. Learn the skill from the monkey over there. Would you like to learn the special power? Sure. Haha, that's wonderful. Speak to the monkey over there. Come here, monkey. I'll teach you teleportation. Oh, let's go outside. Sure. Let's get the hell out of here. But before we do that, we gotta go claim our last two prizes. From the Hamburger Brothers is what I call them. Is this one? No. Is it this one? Nope. I'm trying to find the two monkeys that give you hamburgers, and they open the... Is it this one? No. Go that way, damn it. Okay, it's not this room. I'm pretty sure... Well, I went too far. I think it's this way. And then behind him. There we go. Two extremely useful items. Here's your burger. Now I kind of want a burger. Damn. It sucks being hungry when there's no, when you have no cash. You could really go for a Baconator right now, folks. Hamburger. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned already, but I'm on spring break. So there'll be at least one more video this week. I don't know when, I don't know how, but there will be another video this week. I'm not sure which game, though. Flame Pendant. Yes. Pretty charm. There we go. All better. Let's get the hell out of here. And go to the uh, department store and get some cash.
Excellent. Follow me like this way. Oh shit, I ain't fighting that UFO. Okay, I'll do a teacher's demonstration. If you can learn this, you can go anywhere you've been previously. You can go there instantly. This skill can't be used in a room or underground, though. Ugh. I went to Foresight and returned. I showed you the basic straight course, but you can also pull up enough speed while turning if you have enough room. Okay, why don't you try it, young man? About to learn how to use PSI teleportation. Yo, great. Okay, the teacher is going home now. Alright, PSI teleport. Foresight. Alright, let's go to the department store. Uh, I'll cut the video here. And we can tackle the Monotoli building next time. Whatever you do, do not sell the dragon. Oh shit. I almost did. Let's see. A couple of life demons is worthless. You can do the same thing with the secret herb. Get rid of this chicken. Chicken. Get rid of the picnic lunch. Let's see. And the great charm. There we go, I've cleared up some space. Alright. Deposit. Whatever, good enough. Alright, folks. I'm going to cut the video here, and I'll see you all hopefully later this week on Let's Play Earthbound. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. And I would like to thank my new subscribers, especially Lost Leader, the Sir Laguna, who I know from the Final Fantasy Wiki, and the other LPers who have added me recently. I'll talk to you all later, and see you later. Have a good time. Peace out.